Here we go. We are still talking about uh, subject and predicate. What two things do we need to make a complete sentence? Right? We need a subject and a predicate. We know a subject um, tells who or what the sentence is about. We know the predicate tells what the subject does. Right? What is this? Flies. That's our subject. What do the flies do? There you go. That tells what the subject is or what, what it's doing, right? Spiders. That's our subject. What do spiders do? There it is. That's kind of gross. The whole thing. Uh, read the bold sentence. Then our, we're going to write the answers to the questions. Caterpillars eat leaves, right? What is the sentence about? No, caterpillars. Don't over, don't over uh, stick it. What do they do? They eat leaves. All right. I'm not gonna do this next one. I'm just gonna read through it. Ready? Because I, 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 I think you guys, I want you guys to get this practice. It says, all right. Butterflies taste with their feet. Right? Butterflies taste with their feet. All right, that's the, sen that's the sentence, okay? Now, watch what I'm going to do here. What's the subject? Butterflies. What, what about butterflies? They taste with their feet. Okay, so look. Subject, what is the sentence about? Butterflies. butterflies. Predicate, what do they do? <coughs> taste with their feet. All right, so you guys see what you're doing there. It's a good activity. You're going to write them out. All right? If you were smart, you would split, break the sentences apart. All right? <coughs> All right, now I'm going to take this to the next level on this one. It says write the subject of the sentence on the line, right? I'm going to have you break this sentence apart. Rain is starting to fall. Please wear a raincoat. <coughs> take an umbrella, okay? Stay warm and dry. All right, so... Every complete sentence has a subject, right? In an imperative sentence, where you give a command, they're talking to you, it's written in the second person, so they're speaking directly to you, the person who's reading it. They're giving you a command, right? The subject is you. You are the subject, you understand? It's not stated in the sentence, you guys. Please wear, wear a raincoat. Who's the subject? You. you are the subject. Rain is starting to fall. Who's the subject in that one? Rain. rain. Yeah. So don't be fooled. Don't, don't get into a habit. So we know rain, subject, is starting to fall predicate. But in this one, so, but this one is, this one is not in, uh, a, uh, um, an imperative sentence, right? It's declarative. It's declaring something. Declarative, that's declarative, right? It's a statement. Made a statement. Please wear a raincoat. Who's the subject in that one, though? You. It's a command, right? All right. So you guys are going to decide whether you are the subject or if there's an actual sub subject in there, right? If it's giving you a command, then the answer is going to be Y-O-U, baby, <clears throat> right? If it's not giving a command, then there is a... Subject to be found. Does that make sense to everybody? You sure? All right, all right, all right. Yeah, go, 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 go. All right, here we go. Write four <coughs> commands that you might hear from, oh, from Mr. T. Write the understood subject of each sentence on the line over here. So you're going you're, you're gonna to write down what, who, what's the subject over here. So... Give me, why don't you guys go ahead and tell me a command that you would hear from me? Do your homework. Get your deal ribbon. How about this one? <laughs> Grab the lights. the lights. Who's the subject of that sentence? You. Huh? Lights. No! You. It's a command. You're giving it to someone. It's you, you right? Got it? Yep. See what you're going to be doing there? All right, moving right on to, to number 10. It's number 10. All right, 
Remember, this is being screencast, so if you forget, you can pull up the video, get right to it. Got it, Carly? Carly McFarley? She smiled. She smiled. I broke her. All right, here we go. It says, every sentence has a subject. A complete subject includes all the words. All right, so we're, now we're doing simple subjects, right? We talked about this yesterday. All right? How about this one? Ready? This is crazy. Look at this. My next door neighbor is walking her dogs. Where's the subject in that one? The whole subject. What's the subject? Who said that? Critch, get over here. Okay. Yes, my next door neighbor is the complete subject, right? But what is the simple subject? Simple. Neighbor. David? Neighbor. It's neighbor is the simple subject, right? So I would be really impressed if you guys would diagram your sentence like, like I've been doing. And then where's the predicate? Where's the predicate? Is walking, is walking her dogs. And what's hey, what's the simple predicate on this one? Go. Mm, is. Ready? Try the next one. The two large dogs started barking. Yeah. Right. I think you guys have this. So. You're looking for the simple subject, right? I would be impressed if you just break the whole sentence down as far as you can. Right, Keith? A capicho? I'll do the last one with you one more time. I'll do one more. Ready? The big red sign on the side of the truck says, Manny's Mover. The big red sign? Keep going. Yep, that's the subject. <laughs> what's it say? It says name, name, name. Predicate. Ooh, what's the simple subject here? Got big <coughs> mm. <coughs> I think it's the sign. Yeah. Yep. It's the sign. The sign is the simple subject. Right? Because what... What, do we, what is the predicate really referring to? Only one thing. The sign. What the sign says, right? Okay? What's the simple predicate? Yep. All right, so you guys got it? Yeah. All right, write the simple subject from the word box to complete. That's easy, you guys. Come on. All right, finally, the simple subject is the most important word in the complete subject, right? It's the most important uh, word, right? Just like when we look back at this one, you guys, that was a long subject, right? If I go back real quick, if I go back, that was, whoa, that was a long subject. The big red sign on the side of the truck. That whole thing is the subject. But what's the most important word in there? What, what is it that, that they're describing over here? It says... Manny's movers. What are we referring to? The sign. The sign. Yeah, that's the most important word, right? Does that make sense? All right. So let's keep chipping away here. Okay, sometimes the simple subject is the same as the complete subject, right? We, subject, will visit my aunt in September. Sometimes the simple subject is made up of two or more words that name a person, right? So the beautiful Golden Gate Bridge is a popular workplace, or, or was it? Is a popular place to visit. So we know the subject is the complete subject is the beautiful Golden Gate Bridge, but the simple subject is going to be this title, the Golden Gate Bridge. You you, you got to say it all together. It's one thing that we're talking about. It's three words, but it's one referring to one thing. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. So whoa, 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 whoa! Man, I hate when this thing does that. All right, you ready for this one? Who, who thinks they've got the chops to do numero uno? New York City is where my aunt lives. Where's the subject? William Baher. New York City. Okay. 
This is where my aunt lives. What, what's the simple subject? City. I think it's New York City. I think it's there. This one and the same. Subject and simple subject. Aunt Clara works in a tall office building downtown. Where's the subject? Aunt Clara, yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's Carla. Aunt Carla. Uh, where's the, so Aunt Carla's the subject. Where's the simple subject? It's Aunt Carla, right? All right, you guys got it? All right. So we're going to roll down here. Write three sentences about places you would like to visit. <coughs> Underline the complete subject. Circle the simple s subject. You guys have this. But here's the deal. Spam. Spamaroni. All right, here's the deal. Um, we're going to be doing revising, so I, I, I expect you to write good sentences and break them down. All right, Tadero out.